in this video we are going to demonstrate the pH of following samples by using the universal indicators. The samples are dilute HCl, dilute NaOH, dilute ethanoic acid, water and dilute sodium bicarbonate solution. So we have taken the five test tube and in each test tube we have taken the separate sample. For example, in the first one we have taken the HCl. In the second test tube we have taken NaOH into it. In the third test tube we have taken acetic acid that is CH3COOH. In the fourth test tube we have taken water and in, and in the fifth test tube we have taken uh, solids hydrogen carbonate and prepared the solution by taking it small amount in a water and then prepared a clear solution from this. Now we will put this universal indicator in each of the test tube and we will observe what are the changes in the color. The color chart for the different pH range is given on this bottle. By comparing this pH chart we are able to find out the nature of the given solution. Just for example in the first case in the HCl when we add this universal indicator then this solution turn red, a dark red, which indicate that it is a strong acid. Now in the second test tube which contain the NaOH and we know that it is a base and a strong base, in that case it gives a completely we can say the violet color in. In the next test tube we have taken CH3COH that is an weak acid. So now what will be the color change? We will observe it. And it is a just a slightly red color, not the dark one. So it is different from that of the H HCl part. In the water, it is a neutral, it gives a green color solution. So whenever there is a neutral liquid, we cannot identify it by using the red litmus or a blue litmus. So by adding universal indicator, if it gives a green color, means it is a water. Then we have taken a sodium bicarbonate, it is a weak base. So its color lies between the green and the blue. So lightish of blue and darker of the green part is present in the sodium bicarbonate solution. So you can easily compare these color of the test tube with the chart and we can easily find out the pH of the given solution first thing and also we find out the nature of solution. For example, if it is a weak acid, it will give slightly red or orange color. If it is a neutral, it can easily give a green color here. If it is a weak base, it give the lighter blue color here. So by using in universal indicator, we can easily identify the strength of the solution that is acidic or neutral or alkaline, strongly acidic, strongly basic, weakly acidic, weakly basic or a neutral. So by comparing it with the color chart, we can easily find out the strength of the solution. Now the few questions related to the viva part from this practical is. question arising after watching this video is define pH. So the pH stands for potence of hydrogen also known as the strength of hydrogen and in mathematical term pH is equal to minus of log of H plus ion that is it is negative of logarithm of base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration in mole per liter. So generally it stands for the strength of hydrogen that in the higher classes you will understand how to solve this. So this is a general relation of log 10 of H3O plus ion. Now why H3O plus because H plus in water combine with water and form the hydronium ion. So instead of writing H plus we can also write it like H3O plus. So pH is the negative of logarithm of base 10 of H plus ion. Now the next term related to this is the pH scale. Now pH scale is, is that scale which indicates the concentration of H plus ion in the solution and it varies from 0 to 14 in between is the 7 there so when the pH value is lower than 7 then we call it as an acidic solution when it is greater than 7 up to 14 it is a basic solution 
and at 7 it is considered as a neutral and if the pH value lies near to the 0 then it is a strongly acidic and which lies in this category is the weakly acidic part. Similarly which lies near to 14 for example 10, 11, 13, 14 they are the strongly basic component whereas if the pH value lies near to 7 that is 7.5, 8, 9 they considered as a weakly basic component. Now the next question is what is this universal indicator? So universal indicator is a mixture of several indicators which shows different colors at different concentration of H plus aqueous ion in a solution. So it is a mixture. What is a mixture? Mixture of several indicators and it shows different colors at different concentration of H plus ions. Now the next type of questions can be framed from this topic is mention the pH value of the following solution. For example, NaOH having the highest 14, NH3 11.6, milk of magnesia which is also act as an anti-acid have 10.5, blood 7.3 to 7.5, pure water 7 and saliva from 6.5 to 7.5. Then the urine 5.5 to 7.5. Poppy 4.5 to 5.5, beer 4 to 5, tomato juice 4 to 4.4, wine 2.8 to 3.8, vinegar 2.4 to 3.4, lemon juice 2.2 to 2.4, gastric juice 1 to 1.2 and battery 0 0.5 and HCl is 0. So these are the common examples of pH in our daily life.